Hey guys, it's me again. Sorry it's been so long since I've done a video. I'm still currently in the process of trying to find an apartment, going to look at one today. Um, I have lost my tripod, so I can't do any build tutorials until I find it. Um, but I figured I would give you an update, tell you what I've been vaping on, what videos I do have coming up as soon as I can get everything situated. Um, I was waiting to do a full tutorial and review on the TNT 30 until I got some things from Fallout Mods that was supposed to be sent on. Uh, he said he had a loose draw top cap for me and a custom drip tip. Uh, so I figure what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and knock out a build tutorial and review of it. And then when those items make it in, I'll do a follow-up video. <clears throat> but what I've been vaping on mostly is my Mutant with my TNT 30. Uh, when I go out, I vape on my iHybrid Beast just because, you know, it's... I, I, I don't care. I mean... It is so, it is so sturdy. You know, it's got some, some battle scars up on top of it. From where it's been dropped, fell out of my pocket, onto the floor. You know, and when it, when it got those initial markings on it, that's when I was just like, you know what, if I drop it, I drop it. It's aircraft grade aluminum. It's sturdy as hell. So, when I'm out in the garage working on motorcycles with my father-in-law, I have this. When I go out to the grocery store, I have this. When I go to the movies, I have this. When I go to work or other places, you know, that I'm not so upset, I'm, I'm not so rough, I take this. And I vape on this primarily. Um, but I do have something new. <clears throat> and it's not high-end. It's not expensive at all. Really, it's uh, $45 at the store I work at. Um, but the Smoke Tech RSST dual coil with airflow control. Let me zoom. And, uh... You just... You, unscrew, you screw this ring up or down. Which way am I going? I'm going down. I switched hands so I got confused. I'm left handed. So. And uh, right now on top of my Hades I have a 28 millimeter still air. Which uh, I have really been enjoying. Um, I have... A single coil triple parallel and it is it is putting out some vapor what I have been vaping on juice wise is lunar ha lunar, lunar harvest by king of clouds and it does come in a three nick which I didn't realize I was vaping on a 3 milligram until I looked at the bottle and I had been on it for two weeks when I was vaping it at a 6. But I wasn't told that we got any 3's in and now I'm almost out of juice in this bottle too. I'm gonna juice up this coil. I am using uh, Japanese organic cotton kojindo. Uh, I have found that nothing else wicks quite like it. Um, what have I not covered? Uh, I will be doing a tutorial and review of the RSST. I think for the money, 
and the form factor, it is one of the best Genesis I've gotten my hands on. Um, it does have its cons, uh, but other than that, I mean, and they're very cons to me uh, for the way I build. I, I would have preferred the negative post to be one of the neg the negative posts to be on this side rather than both of them being uh, a right-handed build. Um, but I'll, I'll take a quick vape off of it for you just to show you wide open what it does. Um, as we all know, I'm very passionate about, about my beast, but I, I can't find anything as sturdy as it and anything that I would not mind if I dropped. Now, people ask me why I listen to my mod. This is what I'm listening for. All right, that's that's not it hitting at full capacity. You can tell when if I hit it at a certain angle, it doesn't it doesn't hit just right. But it does when I hit it just right. So when I I'm listening for the full hit cuz I want the best vape every time. So that, that's what I'm doing. I'm listening to the crackle and how it fires. If it's not sounding right, excuse me, I don't vape it. I, I, I work a little bit and get it different. Um, I will have a tutorial and a review coming on the 28mm Still Air. Not that you haven't already seen a ton of builds like it here on YouTube. Um, but as far as videos go, this might be my last one for a little while until I get situated in a new apartment. Um, I will, I will go ahead and knock out a review and tutorial of the TNT 30. Um, I just don't know when that'll be. It, it might be this weekend. It might be next week. Uh, it's just whenever I can find the time, when it's really quiet around, because uh, right now I'm living in, living in with my in-laws, and there's a lot of people in this house, so it can get loud very often. <clears throat> uh, I think I think that's about it. If there's anything, that's what I was going to say. Thank you all for subscribing. Thank you all for watching my videos liking my videos, commenting on my videos. Uh, I topped 140 subscribers, uh, 48,000 views, and I did the math. I, I looked at the analytics. It's 72 countries. That's amazing. That blows my mind. So if there's anything you would like me to review, post it in the comment, and I'll try to get my hands on it and do a video of it. If you're a vendor and you have something that you would like me to do a video of, you can find me on Facebook at Jeff Hettervik, H-E-T-T-E-R-V-I-K. Um, hit me up on Facebook. I'll talk to you about it. And, you know, I was going to try to set it up to where, you know, if y'all do send me anything to do a video of, I will do a contest at the end of the video and give it away. So, but that's pretty much all I have to say. Thanks for watching. And remember, enjoy the cloud.